it's coffee time. That coffee tastes a little weird. Oh well, whatever, moving on. So hey, I was on set all day today, did not get sunburned. I was very excited because we were filming in Malibu, which is like really hilly, beautiful area of LA and very sunny. It gets very warm up there. So I was fully expecting to have yet another burn, but fortunately I had so much clothing on that I was just dying from dehydration instead. Just kidding, we totally had water bottles, but <laughs> all of us were complaining. We were like, it's so hot. We're wearing like three layers, it's so hot, oh my god. And I wasn't even wearing a cloak. I was the only person not wearing a cloak, and even I was feeling it. So they must have been just dying. But it was really fun because like Ryan was there when I actually helped record the song. But I hadn't seen any of the other Warp Zone dudes in so long that it was just, it was great. It was like, hey friends. Let's all make dumb jokes and talk about stuff and catch up. And it was great. We all had a really good time. And uh, it did not go nearly as late as I thought it was going to go. I thought that I was going to be in till way late. But it, it really, it kept on track. It kept on track really well, despite all of the dumb jokes. So A plus. Good job, team. But oh, man, I have to tell you a story. I don't think that it ruins anything. No, it doesn't. I won't be spoiling anything about the video or what the video is or anything like that. Uh, I did take a little bit of behind the scenes footage, but I can't put that up until the actual video is up. So I'm holding on to that. But here is my story. <laughs> so my costume was there. The only thing that I had to bring was boots. So I bring boots, boots, I bring boots in order to fill out my costume. And uh, I'm putting everything on. And I was like, wow, these pants are tight. These are some tight pants. And she was like, oh, really? And I was like, I mean, it's fine. They're just they're really tight. And she goes, OK, well, you know, let me let me know if if there's a problem. I was like, all right. Thinking in my head. These are going to rip. These are absolutely going to rip like I can tell. And I joked about it. But, you know, just went on with my day. I was the first person who was ready in full dress. So they were like, all right, we'll start with you. You'll be our the first person that we work with. And I was like, all right, cool. So I go up on this grassy hill with the sun beaming down upon my face, doing my thing, which I can't tell you what it was, but doing my thing. And at a certain point, I'm told, OK, we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time you're going to walk. And I said, okay, I can do that. So did the exact same thing, but, but walked while I was doing it. And then there was one time where I was dancing a little bit. And they said, all right, do that again, but like dance some more. And I said, okay. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm doing the walk. And then once it gets to a certain point in the song, I like bust out dancing. And you guys know me. It was like no holds barred, just like, oh, yeah. The second that I move my legs, rip, like, completely the entire crotch, just one clean rip all the way. <laughs> and I was like, it ripped. I was like, <laughs> And Schroeder goes, oh, no, oh, how, how bad is it? And I was like, well. It's from waistband to the other side waistband. And he was like, oh, it's bad. And Schmidt was like, well, I don't, I mean, we might be doing shots where you can't really see. And the costume girl, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The costume girl runs up the hill and she's like, no, 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 no. Just let me sew it. Okay. I'll, I'll try pinning it, but that probably won't work. I'll just sew it. Okay. And they were like, okay, we'll work, we'll work with. Brian instead while you're getting your crotch fixed so she tries the pin it doesn't work she sews it up and then goes okay can you like move a little bit for me so I move a little bit and she's like oh this is gonna rip again this is this is not gonna work so she sews it again like she sews it through like three times it's like okay I think you're good 
I was like, all right, sick. So I'm moving on. We're all we're all doing our stuff. Uh, standing on a hill for a really long time, found out, is very hard on your toes because like your feet, gravity, right? Your feet are constantly smushed up against the front of your shoe because you're at an angle. So by the end of it, my toes hurt so bad. I was just like, ah, ah. But also by the end of the shoot, I was like, man, that these pants held up pretty well after that one snafu. I look down and I have no idea how long it's been since this happened, but the whole thing had ripped out again. At some point, I did not notice. No one else apparently noticed. They were like, oh, the pants held up pretty well. And I was like, no, no, they did not. No, that is a lie. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> but fortunately, I was able to, you know, change back into my normal clothes at that point. Oh, man. Like, man, that was... But it was linen. For any of you who've worked with linen, you know that it, like, when there's a rip, it rips really cleanly. So, like, it was just a one straight line. It was really... It was fine. It was just... I don't want everybody seeing my underwears. You know? Oh, man. It was the funniest thing in the world. And then... Poor Brian and Ryan had these huge cloaks on, and they were just like, ah, ah, like dying. Ah, oh, poor guys. Mm. But man, yeah, I was on set like all day. So aside from that, which I can't talk about, aside from the crowd story, I'm pretty sure the crowd story, crowd story is safe. It's already happened, so we're gonna just decide that it's safe. But this morning I did daily blank. And, uh, and then I went to Malibu for the shoot and then I came home and immediately recorded, uh, some loadout with Sam, which was fun. We bounce off of each other really well. I at least think so, but I could be biased. Looking back at the footage, I'm like, this is really funny. Maybe it's not funny at all. You know, sometimes you feel that way. <laughs> We're like, this was really funny. And then somebody else watches it and goes, I don't get it funny about it i'm like no boo so hopefully it's actually funny but we had a lot of fun playing it but the servers keep keep failing for me which is really sad we were actually we were trying to play some loadout a couple of days ago and we couldn't get on the servers and i was like oh they must be down and then tried again today and we got on initially and played for a while but then they wound up they wound up failing again for me it's like poop that sucks that's poop man so we still we still had a good time playing i'm in one of those moods where i really want to move everything around like looking around at my apartment i'm that sort of person you know i'm looking around my apartment and going maybe i should move everything around right but at the same time, I feel like I can't do that in the living room because the projector's in a specific place. I could do that in the bedroom. Bedroom would be easy, but there really isn't that much in the bedroom. So I don't know that it would like satisfy that itch, that brain itch that I'm having. I don't know. Maybe I need to just go for it. Just like try it, right? And see what happens. See see if my brain is okay with it. Or if I if I just like weep openly if it unlocks something emotionally in me and i just like ah, like lose my mind that's never happened while moving around furniture by the way i should probably clarify i have never i've never unlocked an emotional thing through moving around furniture but moving around furniture is very fun and sometimes you move everything and you go this is awful and then you move it all back but at least you tried it you know i enjoy that feeling that feeling of just trying something Speaking of which, I should do I tried sometime. Uh, I mention them all the time to the point that pretty much everybody in my life is over it. <laughs> They're like overhearing me talk about the videos I want to make and not actually making them. They're like, you should probably just make those. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't have time. They're like, well, I mean, you do. You know, like <laughs> you just need to make the time ahead of time so that 
you're not looking at a day that's already full and being like, well, I can't do it that day. I guess I can just never do it, <laughs> which is kind of like, and that's an extreme version of what I do. And I'm just like, I mean, every week is just so, so busy most of the time. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just like can't do it. And it's like, no, if I blocked off the time to do it, I could do it. I just need to think ahead and make that happen. Anyway, tangent, which is basically what this show is. I'm going to go and eat something. But I hope you guys have had an amazing day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah.